Twinkies. Some people call this a backed snake kayak. To start with three metric tons of corn husk, drop down this convenient industrial poop chute for grinding. Here in the smoosh room, they ground and pound the husk with a damp fertilization of natural hog saliva. It adds flavor and essential heavy elements until the mixture finally sticks to the lead nickel congealer plate. They stew it all in a 50,000 gallon bath of peanut oil, wheat pus, and just a few drums of motor coolant to add sweetness. These workers prep the slides with burnt sugar, adding just a quarter kilo of that uplifting cocaine kids love so much. Don't ask what the scissors are for, it's too long to explain. This incubator ferments this tube of emollient. The jasm spurter blasts loads at breakneck pace to fill the eager trenches. They are browned by exposure to ovens and migrant laborers. Engineering the creamy filling requires doctors and scientists. This open air lagoon of curds and whey allows for maximum nutrient absorption. Deconstituted particles are blown in through the cream geesler, while fatty bits are introduced to keep the mixture downy. The all-natural products are whipped and churred to maintain fresh, natural factory flavor. This series of teat vibros fillets the milky goodness from the assorted Bessies to cordially introduce genuine dairy, which are then pumped into a Rube Goldberg-style series of tubes, more complicated than the interwebs. Low-fat milk is separated, since it's healthy, and dumped into a nearby drainage canal. Only the heaviest of cream will work for these Twinkies. This machine, called the Chubby Chaser X1, pushes out the frothy mixture as it flops out onto the table. The lard auger grinds dairy remnants and bits into primary components, compressing them as they come out the other side. The congeal is now highly acidic and dangerous to the touch, but looks every bit as delicious as mince Rocky Mountain oysters and garlic sauce. Fresh out the oven, workers cure and press logs until they can be cut. These men roll on vitamins to make sure your burnt snake cock even more healthy and delicious. We've been told that if we describe this part of the process, we will face civil litigation. Then it cooks to a perfectly chowder-injected golden brown. Coming out of the Cleveland steamer, the hot Carl slices the pressed cubes into Twinkie-sized blumpkins by way of bozarking. Since much of it is shortening, the cutting action allows you to actually smell the distressed corn holes. If you've had a colonoscopy, you already know what this machine does. Bam! These Twinkies is ready to give America's happiest families not just one, but two types of diabetes. And that is how Twinkers done do be made.